I could not tell apart reality and hallucinations, but I had to move forward. Behind the sealed door was an elevator. It probably led to the laboratory that was mentioned in the notes, the one where experiments were performed. The elevator itself was rusty but pretty much intact. It was even functional despite not being maintained for decades. There was no other choice for me aside going down. If the security officer was right, the only way to get out of here is to deactivate security protocols of this place. I had no illusions about dangers that lurks underground, I could only tell that I had to prepare. Luckily for me, there were some useful things stored in the basement. While some rusty submachine guns were no better than junk, their ammunition was partially usable. I managed to disassemble them and make more bullets for my handgun. I folded more smoke flash bombs as well, just in case. Aside my handicraft, there were some tools that I could use as weapons. A sledgehammer, a little rusty but still sturdy enough to bash some skulls if used right. Though, I hoped there would not be a chance for me to rely on it for my survival. And an industrial nail gun. This tool was pretty harmless in comparison to real guns. But beggars like me had no choice, and I found decent amount of nails for it. The last thing I did before reaching the elevator was tinkering with my stun baton. I removed its power element and connected it to my flashlight, to provide more efficient power source for it. I just hope it was not mistake. mistake. 